We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch and the beautiful Angela Stokes Monarch coming at you in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. With legs and arms. With legs and arms. It feels like ages since we've done a TV show. It does, doesn't it? Now, um, I just ignore that, everybody. What I just tried to do is I tried to hit the record button really quickly because Angela is, like, making all these faces and noises, like, right beforehand. I can never catch them in time. No. What an exciting week. Ah! It's so exciting. Why? That I got to hit my head with toilet paper. Bye. Tomorrow afternoon, Daniel Vitalis and I are going to go at it in a nice, lovely, respectful way. Now, we're going to be very nice, and we love each other, and it's going to be a lot of fun. What are you doing? We're doing a radio show interview. Woo! Who's interviewing who? I'm interviewing Daniel, but we're going to both give our thoughts on nutrition. Respectfully and graciously. Those videos were fun. What well, videos? The one Daniel making fun of me and me making mm. fun of Daniel. It's all in fun and love, everybody. So what we're time is it? It is 6.17 p.m. on... Jibbers! What time is the radio in today? It's a cuddle chop time! <laughs> oh, the... Um, what time is it? It is at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. How do they find out the details? Go to the Raw Food Radio Show. No, the Raw yeah. Food World Radio Show dot com. The Raw Food World Radio, radio Show dot com. com. Put your email address in. We'll send you the details. And you're going to love it. It's Tune gonna go. I'm so excited. Live. I'm so excited. And there's a lot more things happening. Like what? Zach and Alara are coming to the Raw Food World in Ecuador. Woo! They're our managers, aren't they? Yep, they're going to be our guests for two weeks. Maybe Why? we can get you guys some recipes. <laughs> they're thinking about possibly getting some land here. La 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 la. And if anybody else is interested in getting land here... Let us know. I was thinking for one seventy-five, hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, a person could get their own piece of land with a really nice house on it if they really wanted to. Like more than an acre of land, kind of, right? Around yes. an acre. Yes. Do the calculations. Woo. Let us know at Angela at rawreform dot com. If you're coming to play. Yes. So this benefits program has gone up a notch or two. I'm so pumped on everything right now that I'm going to go for doing three or four radio show interviews a month. Wow. I'm going to try. I'm so pumped up on this Raw Food World benefits program. We actually are having a volunteer coming out here, moving to our land to help me upload these videos that we do to help me create newsletters so I can spend more time bringing you more information. Remember at New Year's resolution, I said I was going to try to do this? We're doing it. It's going to be insane. It's just going to be nonstop. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Yes. Go ahead. It's the Raw Food Carnival? The Raw Food World Carnival right here Woo. in Ecuador. The Raw Food World Benefits Program. Go check it out. TRFWbenefits.com. Um, there's a lot more stuff happening there too. We are going to be, we've had an onslaught of visitors, and I said if we got enough people, we're going to add more products at cost on an ongoing basis. Woo! There's already a mass on there. We're going to put more within the next few weeks. There's just so much going on in the newsletters, I can't even like go there yet. There's things like almond butter and maca and nori sheets and chlorella tablets. And um, Audi Clarity and, yeah. and Satcha Inchi Oil and all sorts Spirulina. of things. And next week we're doing another interview already. It's already booked and planned and ready to go. 
I'm excited about that one. Yeah, you might. Even, we might even have Angela do the interviewing. I was thinking about that earlier. Maybe we could both do it or something. Ooh. You could ask the nice questions, and then I'll come in and ask some nice questions and say, like, all right, what's going on here? Like, does this really exist? Is this true? Like, come on. Jibbers. No. They don't even know what we're talking about. Well, they will tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Another thing that I like the Raw Food World's benefits program more than anything is we just did, people were asking questions in the Q&A section of, and we do video to answer them. We've got, we got two more questions, by the way, so we're about to do another video probably in the next couple days. The thing I like about this is only members can see these TV shows. So I get a lot more personal than I normally would have. Like certain things I say in these videos that I would not even have thought twice about saying on this TV show because it's just, you know how it is. Anybody and anyone could watch these shows on the inside, only like, you know, whoever's there. I mean, if someone's willing to join the benefits program, then they're obviously, you know, into this sort of thing and not out to... Yeah. I just remembered something. Yeah. Someone asked for our opinion on eating fresh mushrooms. That's for the benefits program, babe. Is it? Yes. Mm. Um, I talked about a lot about manifesting in the last benefits program. There's certain things I said in there that I would have never said before. Okay, that's enough. But I've got a tip for the day. Uh. <laughs> okay, guys. Macronutrients versus micronutrients. There's raw food eaters out there that are dropping like flies in terms of leaving the raw food diet. They're not succeeding. They run into deficiencies and stuff like that. It is very, very rare that I meet someone who eats like me and other of my friends that succeed on the raw food diet. They, they eat, you know, all day long. They don't eat micronutrients or they, when they do, they're probably eating it with food or something or after a meal or while it's digesting. Just certain things like that. They don't cleanse, whatever. But, I came up with a new little fun game. I told most of you guys, I'm at the point of doing this raw food diet for 13 years. I usually eat one macronutrient solid meal a day, and then I eat a bunch of micronutrient absorbable foods all day long. Before that. Yes. Now, check this out. You guys know how I make that cucumber meal, and I put it on um, nori sheets. What I've been doing now is I add spirulina, or green food, as part of the topping on that. First I take the nori sheet, I spread the nut butter on, and then I sprinkle spirulina on that, and then I put the cucumber glop in there, and then I roll it up and then I eat it. She likes the glop word. Okay, so why am I in love with this idea? I was doing spirulina for weeks, and then today I did vitamin mineral green with this food. They're foods, they're foods, they're good. I like the green foods, this is for hardcore. You know, Didn't raw food. Taste nasty putting vitamin or green in there. I kind of like the taste. I'm kind of interested in trying greener grasses. That would wow. that would be good. Spirulina is amazing. I do like the spirulina better, but if I continue to do the vitamin or green, I think I would continue to like that. So, when we eat our macronutrient meals, what this does this is like the heavy meal that contains the avocado or the nut butters, and you get your essential fatty acids and protein from these types of meals, um, but the amount of nutrients you, you get is kind of minimal because, in essence, man lost his ability to chew food the way we're meant to, like our horses chew grass all day long. So when I'm eating this cucumber meal, I'm probably getting barely any cucumber. you got to, like, chew it until the fiber's gone. So check this out. Well, I have this glop. Okay, we got this glop in this nori sheet, and now I'm spreading all this micronutrient green food all over it spirulina, vitamin mineral green, greener grasses, ormus greens. Oh, uh, ormus greens wouldn't be very good in there, would it? Because it's high mint, right? It's got mint and stevia. I'm going to try it all! Uh... Green foods with macronutrients. So imagine this. You have this glop, not chewed all the way down, because none of us chew our food the way we do, because we'd be eating for two hours to eat the type of meals that man eats and today. And we just haven't got time! Right. <laughs> so we have this glop, right? 
and we're, we eat it and we swallow it and we're getting all the fatty acids and all the protein that's coming off of it. But, you know, all that fiber just goes right through your body. So now if you have green food in the mixture, absorbable green food, just like in that glop slimed in there and then it goes like right into your small intestines and then the cilia kind of like, you're going to absorb it, possibly. So it's a way to get macronutrients in an absorbable form. Another um, thing that macronutrients do is it stops the detoxification. Mm. When you eat a macronutrient meal, um, pretty much you're, you're taxing the body more and you're eating, these are the foods, the macronutrients, if you were to eliminate them, you would even go into more detox and you'd go through withdrawals from those foods. So what happens is when you get your fix of these macronutrient foods, it stops the detox and that's why we get hungry and food actually makes us feel good because it actually stops detoxification from happening. It's like breaking a fast every time you eat a macronutrient meal. You gotta love it. You've got to love it! Uh... Macronutrients with micronutrients. I'd like to say something. Okay. I got all, everything out I needed to talk about. Sorry. Go Baby girl. Hit it up. Maybe we're going to say goodbye to Mr. Jack LaLanne now. Yeah. Jack LaLanne checked out. A couple of days ago, wasn't it? Was yeah. it yesterday? He was 96. 96. Throw your hands up in the air in the comment section if you remember... Jack Lane and his nifty maneuvers for many decades recently. Mm. Bring juice into the masses. That's right. Do you remember seeing him on TV when you were little? Uh, not when I was little. <laughs> I kind of pick up on the way she says things, isn't it, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to share, babe? Bye-bye, Jack LaLanne. I'd also like to say thank you for all of the nice energy that everyone's been sending to our horse, Barbie, our mare. She's not very well. She has a... Ooh, maybe you guys know the answer to this. She has an illness that here... Baba! Nah. They call it Mal de Holanda here, which means evil from Holland in English, and we, we don't know why. We don't know what it is. I mean, I can tell you what it looks like. It's a, an issue around her mouth. Um, her mouth is really inflamed, her upper lip. She can't eat properly. It looks like she has massive herpes on her lips. Maybe that's what it is in English. But if any of you happen to know what mal de Holanda is in English, other than evil from Holland, then please let us know. She's being treated, so um, we're hoping that she's on the upwards curve now, but thank you for everyone who's been sending her lots of love and light and healing. It's been kind of scary the last couple of days because she hasn't really been able to eat, so thank you for sending her love. In the comments section below, answer this question. Do you remember putting a battery like this on your tongue and getting the uh, taste? Why? Because I was just curious. I would do it again now, but I'm, I'm grown up and I realized that it's probably toxic. Mm. Post that. That's the question of the day. Is it toxic now to put your tongue on those two parts of the 9-volt battery? Why would it not be toxic now? Because we're in the 21st century or something. Maybe it's just like, it makes you go blah, blah, blah. It's almost like being electrocuted on your tongue, but not really. That's just like the tannin. It gives you this taste. I guess it is pretty toxic, but let me know. What is it that's coming out? This is just important stuff to know. Yes. I mean, if I was a kid, I would totally want to put my tongue on this. Uh, don't try that at home. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> I did it like a million times when I was younger, but whatever. Okay. Who do we got there? Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch. Rocking the Raw Food World TV show, radio show, benefits program. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, we'll see you again at the Raw Food World.